guys have faced this team a, a couple times now, but obviously a new look with um, Harden in the mix. Um, how tough is it to defend this team when they have so many good shooters and now even another weapon? Yeah, it was tough before. Um, obviously makes it a little tougher now with three, you know, high caliber guys, uh, high caliber scorers on, on the team. Um, you know, I feel like we match up against them well, but at the end of the day, guarding them is, is a different story. So, um, you know, valiant effort, but, you know, like I always say, stuff we got to clean up and um, kudos to them for, for winning the game. Cam has struggled a little bit shooting from the field um, to start the season. Um, what did you see out of him tonight? And was it good to see him get going a little bit? Yeah, he had that mojo, that swag, that, you know, that Cam Cam swag that we're used to. Uh, he had it going tonight. And um, that's what we want to see. That's what we hope that he can bring every night or he can get that feeling every night because he's hard to stop, you know, and he just makes, you know, makes our team or gives our team another dynamic. Thank you. Got a question from Joseph from The Score in Toronto. Hey, John, I know it's uh, uh, playing against, you know, Brooklyn uh, and the points you guys gave, gave up is a tough night to ask about defense. But overall, you guys have made so far quite the strides this season on the defensive end. And I was wondering, um, from your vantage point, what have you seen both from yourself and from the team in general that's allowed you guys to take these steps defensively? Because I feel like it can't just be effort, right? Like there's got to be more to it than that. So I was wondering if you can enlighten me there. No, yeah, you know, for me, having Cam and Dre, as I talked about all last year, take that that gap step from the year one to year two was monumental for, for them mentally. Um, and I feel like with the, the elevation of their defense helps me defend better. Uh, we have big fella now, a true rim protector, true rebounder, true big fella. Um, it just gives our team, as I said before, there's so many dynamics on defense, uh, the, the way we can switch um, and the way we can cover ground now um, helps our defense in many ways. And um, it's going to continue to improve, obviously, a new roster as well. So I feel like once we um, smooth everything out, we can see another improvement. Okay, thanks. Appreciate it. Rafael Haynes. Hey, John. Rafael from the Three Point Conversion. John, even though you all um, had a tough loss, you know it's been a um, tough battle with this team throughout the season. But looking at this loss and the way you all battled, do you still feel like you all are climbing uphill and getting to that, I guess, to that um, type of play that you all want to get to? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, definitely a lot of things to, to learn, but we need to go through times like this uh, for us to understand what it means to truly win big games. So it's, a, it's an important stepping stone for us. Thanks. Jimmy with Johnson. Hey, John, how are you? Good, Jamel. Good to see you. You too. Um, so I actually asked Clint about this and coach mentioned it before, but how you and Clint have a post game routine of going and, and, and going to the weight room and doing that. Did you guys do that after this OT game on the second of a back to back? And we what's did, that been did. like to, to um, build that kind of camaraderie between you two? No, we did. It's, uh, it's just something that, you know, we pride ourselves on, on taking care of our body. You know what I mean? And the weight room is one area where we can always do that. So, um, I feel like, you know, it's a little bit of a mini competition for us as well to to stay on each other's butts and um, make sure we're, you know, in the weight room doing what we're supposed to do. And I feel like that bleeds on to the court with our chemistry and the way we play on the court as well. Uh, final question from Andrew Friedman. Hey, John. Um, kind of two questions. First, when you go back and look at the film, um, whether it's tomorrow or the day after, What's the first thing you're going to look at, both from your individual standpoint and then just as a team perspective? Yeah, for me, I really just pay attention to the defensive end, honestly. Um, offensively, I always feel like it comes down to execution or areas that, you know, mentally we can sharpen up on because we can score any way we, we really want to. It's just a matter of how we get it. So um, for me, as I said before, and, and to continue to improve defensively, we need to watch film and, and get better. Mm -hmm. And then kind of as a second question, uh, tonight we saw Cam and Gallo obviously come back, um, but the team's not quite there yet. When you guys get healthy, um, it was evident tonight that you can hang with the league's best. What do you think is the ceiling for this group? Um, I'm not too sure yet, but uh, I feel like it's it's pretty high considering all the talent we have, the 
the mix of old and uh, and, and new uh, experience and, and young legs. So I feel like um, a lot of good things to come from this this combination of guys and uh, been a really weird season for us. So hopefully once everything smooths out, like I said, we'll uh, catch fire. Thank you. Thank you, JC. That was our final question for you.